From the RS group I received the material to build two solar generators for one video on my second channel, how open is this gadget? Variant number 1 was specified by RS and is designed as a learning object for training workshops, take a look at the video to find out the details. I always wanted to have a solar generator for my projects and now that all the lumps were in my basement, it was time to build one. What variant number 2 will look like was entirely up to me and I decided on a more practical way to arrange all the components. Instead of the aluminum frame, I opted for a waterproof plastic case. The interior of this container is reduced to what is necessary for my purposes. The core components are identical with 20W solar panels, a lead jail battery, a solar and a mains charger and a 1kW inverter. A microcontroller is essential for my projects, I choose an Arduino Giga which can be connected to the outside world via VLAN. My list also included waterproof sockets, current sensors and some more small parts, there were enough fastening materials and cables left over from the construction of the first generator. The plastic case with wheels and extendable handle ensures back friendly transport of the solar generator. At a whooping 31 kilograms, the heaviest component in the case is the lead jail battery, which is held in place with aluminum system struts. The inverter is right next to it and is connected to the battery via a circuit breaker, as 230 volts are rarely needed for my projects. As a low voltage tinkerer, 5 volts for USB devices via a step down converter and sockets that are connected to the 12 volts battery are routed to the outside. The latter are protected against short circuits with a resettable 8 amps fuse. The loads can be disconnected from the battery using switches. The external charger, which can be used to recharge the battery with mains voltage if necessary, is not permanently wired to the battery. The cabling is a mix of soldered, crimped and screwed connections. The solar panels also find their place in the suitcase, I use 6 of them. For operation, the panels are joined by screws and pieces of a cap rail. And stabilized with additional pieces that are clamped to the top of the frame. The solar panels are connected in parallel via screw terminals on the back side of one of them. From there two cables run to a socket on the back of the case. The nominal total power of the solar panels is 120 watts, which under optimal conditions would take 12 hours to fully charge the 12 volts 120 amps battery without losses. The Arduino records how many hours pass under real conditions. With the help of this microcontroller, various parameters of the solar generator can be queried via VLAN. Using 100mOhm resistors as current sensors and by monitoring the voltages on the battery and solar panels, the charging process and the electrical power drawn can be monitored. Of course, more functionalities can be implemented with the Arduino Giga and the web interface can be modded to a more fancy look, 
Let's see what else I will come up with once the generator is up and running. The system cannot be used as a classic balcony power plant because the inverter cannot feed energy into a power grid. As I said, the 230 volts will only be used rarely, but thanks to the battery and inverter being stored in the trolley case, a quick project away from the power grid can always be carried out. In addition, my outdoor robot can be charged via the generator. You can read about other projects that my variant of a solar generator will power on my website. There you will also find very rough build instructions because this is a project for ambitious hobbyists. Definitely not a solar generator that could compete with commercial products. Thanks for watching and I'll be back.